In this how-to video, we are going to cover how to bolt change the state of various SPM or Service Performance Manager tests. In some cases, customers would be interested in changing the state from enabled to disabled on a multiple device or multiple test level. Let's go ahead and show you how to do that. By default, under the Locator tab, there's an SPM folder and CA provides out of the box searches one for all test hosts, all tests, and all test templates. All test hosts will provide you with any host that is capable of creating an RTM or SPM test. The search that we're interested in is all tests. When you click the all test search, it's going to come up with the landscapes to search on. If you have multiple landscapes, you'll see them in this list. In my case, I only have a single one. Select the landscapes that you want to search in, and if you don't want to search in them, you move them over to the right. You can see these tests that I created previously. You can see that the status is ready to run. So what we're going to want to do is click, hold shift, and click the ones that you want to select right click go to utilities attribute editor go to the bottom and you'll see user defined with a little blue hyperlink click that hyperlink and type in state the attribute ID that we're interested in is 0x4560003 select it and click OK move it over to the right unselect no change and then you can see the various test types that we can set it to in this case we want to set them to disabled click apply and you will get the old value which was enabled the new value which is now disabled you can close the result screen and then click OK these tests are now disabled. So likewise, if you wanted to reverse it and re-enable them, you just do the same thing. Right click, go to Utilities, Attribute Editor. State will already be here, so you don't have to click the hyperlink to add it. Uncheck No Change, change them to Enable, click Apply, and now you can see the old value was disabled, the new value is enabled. I hope you found this how-to helpful.